So notice the fish is flat on the table, so the spines are laying down flat as well. And, and touching the spines on the outside doesn't do anything. You have to get stuck by those to introduce the venom. So the way I like to fillet is make a cut. Uh, a lot of the meat is up around the shoulder and the back, so I'll make a cut up here as far forward as I can get, and then angle it back across the ribs. So I'll cut up here, and then just cut down through the skin. And then I'll make a cut right along the back, right along the backbone. So I'll cut right down in here, just a shallow cut to break the skin, because we're going to peel the skin off of this fish. All the way back down to the tail. And then the same cut on the bottom. And here by the anal fin, make a cut right along the bottom of the fish. Mm -hmm. So now that I have my three cuts on here, what I like to do is peel the skin off. Um, you can see the great color on the skin. Some people like to leave it on. I like mine off, especially if we're going to make ceviche, which is my favorite way of having lionfish. So the skin actually peels pretty easily. Start up here in the corner and then just peel it off. And this is a lot like what you do with the mahi-mahi or, or other fish. You can just get a good grip on it and the, the skin just pulls right off, right off to the tail. And you can see the meat, really nice, white, light, delicate meat. So now what I want to do is get as much of this meat as I can. So I'm just going to slowly peel along the backbone with this knife. And just peel the meat right down to the bone here. And uh, a lot of people are worried about getting stung when they're cleaning the fish, but for the most part, these spines are just laying flat on the table, so there's really not that much to worry about for the, for the sting, as long as you're careful. However, we do have the puncture-proof gloves there, so if we're worried about that, we can always put those on. What's this taste like? It's very light. Um, it's not a fishy fish. A light, delicate meat. Uh, people that know hogfish say it tastes a lot like hogfish or a, or a small grouper. So you can season it many different ways. It takes seasoning really well. So we have a nice, nice little fillet off of that. I probably could have done a better job on this right here, but still, that's a good fillet. Um, this one fish would make, you know, perfect for a sandwich or two. There we go. Some with the panko Japanese style breadcrumbs. So these are just battered and uh, you know, salt and pepper, flour, little egg. Live spines are being used for toothpicks. So you dry them in the oven and they keep their color. And then you just use them as cocktail sticks.